Happy Black History Month. I'm Ron Mallon in the philosophy department at Washington University in St. Louis, and I'm very happy today to celebrate Black History Month with you by celebrating Kwame Anthony Appiah, a philosopher, a cultural theorist, and a public intellectual. Born in 1954 in London to a Ghanaian father and an English mother, Appia grew up in Ghana, though he spent a great deal of time in England, where he ultimately received his PhD at Cambridge University in 1982. He subsequently moved to the United States, where he became a U.S. citizen in 1997. Appia's academic career began with contributions to the philosophy of language. Appiah was also one of the first philosophers to apply the methods and theories of Anglo-American or analytic philosophy to exploring questions of race and other sorts of social identity that were already occupying so much attention in other humanistic disciplines. Drawing on both a tradition of academic philosophical thought about language and African and African-American thought about race, Appia defended the claim that our thoughts about race are often so confused that much of what we say lacks meaning. For instance, he wrote, the truth is that there are no races, there is nothing in the world that can do all we ask race to do for us. While Appiah appreciated the social significance of racial identity, he came to articulate an account of identity that emphasized the role of the individual in selecting elements from their ascribed identities with which they may shape their own lives. A great deal of his subsequent social and political thought has centered on the moral and metaphysical conundrums of identity. Nowadays, he is perhaps best known for his defense of a social and political ideal of cosmopolitanism, the idea that we should view ourselves as citizens of the world. And he continues to consider how cosmopolitan ideals intersect with other social groupings, such as sexual, ethnic, racial, and class identities. Appiah's work long ago achieved an audience outside the confines of his core academic tribe of Anglophone philosophers. His 1993 book, In My Father's House, explored the role of African and African-American thought on efforts to forge African and African-American identity. He is also the co-editor with Henry Louis Gates Jr. of Africana, the Encyclopedia of the African and African-American Experience. And he has written numerous essays and three novels. Nowadays, in addition to his ongoing academic contributions, Appiah serves as the New York Times Magazine's ethicist columnist, bringing thoughtful, humane, and educated analysis of the everyday moral problems that shape and sometimes threaten to upend our lives. Along this intellectual journey, Abby has been named a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and received the 2011 National Humanities Medal from President Barack Obama. While I believe he is not done yet, I want to offer thanks to Professor Appiah for all his contributions and thanks to you for sharing this figure in Black history with me.